Welcome to another Dragonlance Saga episode. Today I'm playing the D&D Adventure System with an online friend, Derek. How you doing, man? Um, I'm doing great. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. And, you know, to be 100% transparent, you came up with this idea and I thought it was a brilliant one to sort of reskin these board games that were released as Ravenloft or generic D&D into a Dragonlance specific, uh, specific adventure and then try to, you know, sort of mesh together these individual sessions into a, a larger narrative. I thought that was a brilliant idea and really apropos for this channel specifically being Dragonlance. And so uh, Castle Ravenloft makes perfect segue into pretty much anything um, Lord Soth, whether he's on Kryn or off. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing with this and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, we are going to be playing Day 4 Adventure, I'm sorry, Adventure 4 uh, Daylight Assault, but we're reskinning it as Raiding Dareguard Keep. Of course, today is Lenara's Dark Ember the 7th, and my name is Adam, and let me just take a quick moment and thank all of my collaborator patrons and Derek as a patron, uh, Heroes of the Lance, and invite all of you watching, now live or later, uh, after the fact, and invite you to become a patron if you're interested. You can also pick up Dragonlance game materials and stuff like that. And all that is in the uh, description of the video below. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, we would like to open this up in future episodes to the live audience to control a character as well. And really it just depends on whether someone's available to you know, sit in and, and join us for the entire episode or um, whether, whether they're able, but also more importantly, whether you're willing. That seems to be a, a contested idea here for some reason on this channel. But let me introduce the tabletop and we'll get into our characters and then we'll do the setup of the game. So you can see we have our game specific cards here. We're going to have the tiles uh, running across this space. Hopefully I don't run out of space. Our individual character cards are off screen, but you can see um, who is playing what character. So I guess this is as good a time as any. Derek, do you want to introduce your character you're playing? Yeah, I'm playing Thorgrim, the Dwarf Cleric of Reorks. Uh, he is a Neater Dwarf. Um, he has uh, a fierce uh, loyalty, loyalty to his friends, and he is uh, uh, has a, an old uh, inkling for Dwarf Spirits that he tries to kick, but he basically is just a, a good, loyal friend who uh, wants to put the dead to rest where they belong. Yeah, that's great. Okay, well, joining you is... Arjan, uh, he is a flame draconian. Now, for those of you uh, who are unfamiliar with the, I guess they're not really like good, good draconians, but they're the, I don't know, lighter alignment draconians. Um, they were created from the bad dragon eggs when the dragon armies ran out of the good dragon eggs. And it kind of ended up backfiring a bit. And so I'm sort of just reskinning this draconian, I'm sorry, this dragonborn into a flame draconian. So uh, he's lived most of his life in hiding, uh, of course, defending his version of good and fighting injustice in the name of Kiri Jolith. He's a flame draconian with a hatred for evil, and he sees himself as an abomination made from that evil. He is stoic in nature, and he's going to be willing to lay down his life if necessary for his companions, though that is not his first plan. <laughs> He needs to exact revenge on those who created him and his abomination. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the setup of this adventure. Okay, so it's called Raiding Dareguard Keep. And uh, this is uh, sort of the introductory paragraph that we're going to be uh, running by. Believing that we've discovered a secret entrance to Dareguard Keep, we're searching for an ancient amulet rumored, rumored to be key to the downfall of Lord Soth. We discovered the entrance, as described after hours of searching, and decided to enter during the dwindling daylight, hoping that Soth and his minions are not as active in the light of Paladine. As we enter the secret tunnel, we note that the light of Solanarian Lunatary, signaling night, is not far off. So we've got to hurry. We need to find this amulet and get back out before Lord Soth or the Dareguard Keep awakens. And hopefully, it's... Uh, a little bit quieter during the daylight hours, but who knows? <laughs> I guess we're going to find out, right? Um, Charlotte, playable, good aligned draconians. Why does it hurt so much to hear that? <laughs> well, they were introduced late in third edition, I believe. Um, 
if we're being fair. And I'm just reskinning this for the sake of the character, really. Uh, all right. So, um, I don't know. Do you want to run down your powers that you have really quick, and then we'll just dive in? Uh, sure. Um, so I have a uh, the, my at will power is a healing strike. Um, attack one adjacent to monster. If you hit, choose one hero within one tile. That hero regains one hit point. Cool. Um, then also I have uh, Lance of Faith. It's a uh, attack one monster within one tile of you. If uh, the monster is undead, you deal one extra damage uh, with this attack. So basically, I'll be able to be a ranged person that can heal um, a little bit off to the side. Um, as well as I have a daily power. It's called Flame Strike. It's my heavy hitting power. Yeah. Um, choose a tile within two tiles of you. Attack each monster on that tile. Um, get plus six to the attack and does three damage. If I miss, I still do one damage. Uh, once I use that card, I flip it over. Then I have a Healing Word. Um, it's the healing spell that... Uh, Clerics tend to have in 4th edition. Um, and then uh, Consecrated Ground, which this one's kind of an interesting one. It basically can be used to uh, choose a tile um, uh, within one tile of you. If there is a, a marker on this, this would be like a trap tile or something, uh, you can discard it. Place a Consecrated Ground marker on this tile. And the next time that you would uh, um, pull, place an encounter marker on this tile, discard the encounter card. Um, and do not draw a new encounter card, then discard the consecrated ground marker. So it gives us kind of like a safe space. That's if awesome. If we don't, don't want to explore during a turn, we could drop that and keep us from having to draw an encounter card. And those Very are my cool. daily powers. Uh, and then my final power is the my normal character power that uh, uh, you know healing techniques at the end of your hero phase if you did not attack one other hero on your, um, uh, on your tile regains one hit point. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so my uh, just racial power is, uh, well, it's not really racial. My my class power is that you defend your friends while on a hero is on the same tile as you, and they gain a plus one to their armor class, which is super useful. The powers that I chose uh, for my daily power, I chose, well, it's Dragon's Breath. It's just a normal one that we get as a racial power. This is it attacks each monster on your tile. It does not account as an attack action, but again, I can only use it once. The utility power that I have here is Bodyguard. Use this power when a monster hits another hero within one tile of you. The attack misses instead, and you swap positions. And that's for my get-you-out-of-jail-free card if we need it. Uh, come and get it. Choose a tile with one tile of you. Uh, place each monster on that tile adjacent to my hero, and then attack each adjacent monster. And that's a pretty awesome power. One of my two at wills is Tide of Iron. Attack one adjacent monster. If you hit, place that monster. If it isn't destroyed on a tile within one tile of you, and you can move to any square on your tile. And the Trapping Strike, which is choose one monster within one tile of you, place the monster adjacent to your hero, and attack it. So basically just drawing it to me. Uh, I have a magic item of a magical sword, which gives me a plus one bonus to attack rolls to any adjacent monsters while in play. And adjacent is important because that means it has to be literally next to you, not an the next tile, which some of my powers actually do allow me to do. So we have our characters right here set up. We've got the Dragonborn or the, the Flame Draconian. We have the Neater Dwarf. And we're ready to go. So um, I'm going to roll to see who goes first. Actually, you're the guest. You go first. Um, what do you want to do? Um, well, then I will move. Um, I have a movement speed of five. I'll go to the corner on the north um, east corner of the next tile north of us. Right. And uh, yeah, and I'll just explore the tile to the east. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so we got a black arrow, which is actually kind of good because that means we don't have to progress our daylight hour. But it also means we have an encounter. So for your monster card... You've got a gargoyle, which is not really fun. And for an encounter card, because it's a black triangle, this is event, and we're reskinning it, so it's Soth's trick. Your mind reels as Soth places a spell on you. Your friends become enemies, and your enemies become friends. Oh, crap. Place the active hero on a tile within one tile of you that has the monsters on it. And you already are there, so I don't know what that means. If no tile within one tile of you has monsters... The active hero takes one damage. So, so the monster would be there, I believe, uh, right? We place the monster. Uh, when do we place the monster? It's draw the monster right card now. after after the. Oh, 
Well, yeah, I don't know. I always do it like the first thing you do is um, place it down, then do the monster, and then I deal with the event if it's. Oh, because it's like the exploration phase. Um, yeah, the yeah. third step is to draw the monster card, gotcha. and then when you do the villain phase is when you explore. Uh, if you didn't explore, that's when the encounter card comes out. Okay. So yeah, so the monster will be there. Okay, so the monster's there, and it says, "Put you in a tile next to it." Hero tile yeah, think... on the tile within one tile of you. The active hero. That doesn't make sense. You're the active hero. So I'm approaching the monster as though it's a friend. So I walk up to it, basically. And so I'm like, oh, hey, friend. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not so my friend. <laughs> we'll put you on there. You're like, oh, I thought I knew you from high school or something. But no. <laughs> you are very different. Okay, that sucks. Now I've got to go uh, run up in front of you. Try to squeeze between you two. Um, yeah, no, the now villain monsters... phase, right? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the first part of the villain phase is the encounter card. Then we do the activate the villain, which we have none, and then the monsters activate last. So the, the gargoyle will, uh, if the gargoyle is within one tile of, of the hero, it moves to the closest hero tile and attacks each hero on that tile with a whirlwind of claws. Oh, so, so. Okay, so the role for the mon normally you would be doing this um, if we were in person. We should probably try to set this up in person someday, so it would make it a little bit easier. Oh, geez. Okay, so plus 8 on 15 hits uh, the armor class of 16 that you have. So it's 2 damage and you're slowed. But I'm actually going to just jump the gun here and use my power to sort of switch with you. So you're within one tile. Oh, is that within one tile? That's two no, tiles. No, it's, it's two oh, tiles now. shoot. It's okay. <laughs> you're taking it. <laughs> yeah, I can take it. So we've got two little uh, damage tokens and the slowed token. So for those of you who don't know what the slowed is, it's your speed is two. Discard this condition at the end of your hero phase. So that's going to be the next turn. But that's, oh, you can't even see that with the exposure rate. Um, that's only going to affect him until next turn. Okay, so you are controlling the gargoyle right now. It's my turn. I'm going to rush over there and pound the hell out of that dude. So let's see, I've got a five speed. So one, two, three. Um, you know what? Because if I can draw him to me, I can still explore an edge after we're done killing him. Assuming we kill him. Yeah. And I'd like to be next to an edge. So I'll stop there. I'll use the trapping strike. Choose one, one monster within one tile of you. Place the monster adjacent to your hero and attack it. So I'll just do that so he's not adjacent to you anymore. Uh, it doesn't matter, though, because we're on the same tile, and that's his attack. So I'm going to attack. I have a plus one to adjacent monsters. It's a plus eight, so plus nine total. Oh, shoot. Fifteen. He has a sixteen. I can't believe I just missed. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. That's how this is going to go. And now it's I... Just like Tannis in the... In the uh, was it the... <laughs> Autumn Twilight when he shoots his arrow and he misses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so my monster. Oh, jeez. I should not have been next to the edge. I did a bad thing. This is a wraith. Where's the wraith card? The little blue guys. I think it's a wraith. Okay. And then we also have an encounter card, so that's going to trigger in the villain phase. So exploration phase is done. Um, so now it's the monster and then the encounter, right? Where's the monster last? No, encounter, yeah, encounter gotcha. happens first, then monsters last. Oh, this is terrible. Event, attack, gray ooze. A pseudopod emerges from a puddle of gray ooze on the ground and strikes you. Attack the active hero. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's a plus eight to hit. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I have low rolls today, so a miss is still a damage. But that's okay. One damage is nothing. Uh, if the actor, active hero is hit by the attack, the active hero discards one treasure card at random. No! <laughs> oh, man. Only had one. And he had a good sword, too. Oh. I know. This sucks. Stupid gray ooze. Discard this card. All right. We don't have any experience to discard that. All right. Now it would be the villain or the monster, so let's do the monster or the wraith. If the wraith is within one tile of a hero, which it is, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks the hero with a life-draining claw. Oy vey. Okay. Oh no. 
So it moves right next to me. Life draining claws plus six. Oh, this is awesome. 15, I have a 17, so it misses. I still take one damage, though. Yeah, the punishment. <laughs> it's okay. Darn you, Soth. <laughs> yeah, Get I don't understand this guy. Here. Like, have a little compassion for us heroes. We're just trying to destroy you. What's up, what's up with that? All right, so it's your turn. You're up. All right, so um, I believe I can kill the Wraith easier than I can kill the... Uh gargoyle yeah um i'm going to use my lance of faith um it will to be able i should be able to destroy this creature since i can do two damage to it um that's awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and uh do that plus six versus uh but i ha also have my ring of accuracy which gives mm -hmm. me a plus one bonus to monsters that aren't adjacent to me Perfect. so i get plus seven to this roll that's awesome oh my God. do you have a dice next to you <laughs> I, I do, but I'd rather you roll. Okay, well, I don't know, because I just rolled a two, so... That's okay, you know? <laughs> it's definitely two. Gully yeah. Dwarf's favorite number. <laughs> I mean, it's either one or two with the Gully Dwarf's, right? So, <laughs> we're good. Um, all right, well, I'm sorry. That's terrible. So, let's do uh, the... the inca uh, do you want to move anywhere? Yeah, just to make sure that um, I'm not on the same tile as you, just right. in case one of the encounter cards is bad. Move me, I can only move one square, um, or two squares because I'm slowed. Yep. So just move me up into the northeast corner of the the square, uh, the tile to the left of us, or to the, sorry, to the west. Yeah, this right one? there. Yeah, put me in just that one space in the corner, and then that way I can explore oh, that explore. edge. Hopefully, hopefully preventing us from getting an encounter card, but also give me the capability to... Uh, um, you know, spread the things out. Yeah. Or if if you wanted, actually keep me back in that state, that that space, and I will go ahead and use my consecrated ground. Oh right. Instead of oh no, I have to do it instead of attacking. Never mind, I can't do that. I apologize. Okay. So yeah, never mind. Just put me in that corner and I'll explore. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe we shouldn't explore. <laughs> Gosh. Well, the odds are in our favor. Things will get better, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? I don't know if that works in Dareguard Keep, but we'll find out. <laughs> okay, so that's a Wraith. Uh, since you're controlling it, you can keep that as a creature. Yeah. And then the encounter card happens first. So, event, attack. Howling Ghost. A shrieking banshee emerges from the shadows. Its howl cease, uh, causes you to recoil in agony. Each hero on the active hero's tile... I'm sorry, attack each hero on the active hero's tile. A hero hit by this attack can flip an unused daily power over to prevent this damage. It's two damage possible. It has a plus nine to attack, but I am the one rolling, so it might be really low. So nine... Oh, jeez, twenty... That's definitely a freaking hit. That's a hit. Um, I'll take the damage, so that's going to be two okay. damage. Yep. Okay, I'm at uh, down four so far. All right. And you're no longer slowed, which, I don't know, if there is a <laughs> a highlight, that's it. Is there a fast dwarf? <laughs> it's true. That's actually really true, especially with your penchant for dwarven spirits. That's going to slow you down at least a little bit. Um, all right, so uh, now it's the Wraith's turn. So, if, right, if the Wraith is within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks the hero with a life-draining claw. So we'll just move yeah. adjacent to you. Life-draining yeah. claw is a plus six attack. Oh, jeez, now I'm rolling high. <laughs> so that's a hit, and that's a three damage. Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? Okay, three damage. Yep. Oh, jeez. So that leaves me with two hit points. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, you are within one tile. I'll just take that hit. Because you were... Um, I mean, do you want to do that? Um, we still have two healing surges, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. Okay. I'm trusting you here. Because <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm being honest. It seems like we're in we're in dire straits here. Okay, so that was the villain's phase. Or the mo yeah, the villain's phase. Now it's me. Um... None of these two monsters have taken any damage because I'm rolling like a gully dwarf. So let's see if I can actually hit something. I don't have any attack that's going to do two damage because I chose poorly. Hmm. Let's see. Attack each monster on your tile. They're both not on my tile. If 
I do attack one adjacent monster, you hit it uh, onto the next tile. I'll do that because he's going to try to attack me on my tile. And I don't want him to because that'll hurt. So I'll do a plus eight to attack. I'll use Tide of Iron to attack the Gargoyle. Actually, no, I should attack this, this, um, the Wraith because they do a lot more damage. You three. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're pretty dangerous. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Plus eight to the Wraith. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I hit the Wraith. It takes one damage. And, um, oh, I wish we were on the same tile. I can move after this, which I think I'm going to do. So it takes one. It's got one hit point left. And I'm going to move. I'm just going to back up one square so we're on the same tile. So you get the armor class bonus. And then that's going to be the end of my turn. I don't have any current events, but I do have to draw an encounter because I didn't explore any edges. Oh, geez. Trap. Fire trap. Jets of fire erupt from the walls and ceiling to engulf you. Please, the fire trap mitt marker on the active hero's tile. Oh, God. Doggone it. If that tile already has a marker, discard this card and draw a new encounter card. Trigger the trap during your villain phase. Each hero on this tile takes two damage. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in trouble. All right, where's my fire trap? Little card here. Here we go. Just set it in the corner there so we remember. Oh, God, this just turned south really quickly. All right, I only control this one wraith, and then I'll control... Oh, wait, do they do they... The trap first, or do I do the wraith first? Um, the trap is actually just like the monster, so it's just like you as you put it at the first monster you put out does goes first, gotcha. and, or trap, and then the next thing goes. And so the monster, the trap is just basically another monster. Okay, and since we have two wraiths, I activate both of them because I control one of them, and you'll Correct. do the same on your turn, which is a horrible turn of events. Okay, so if the wraith is with the one tile, it attacks the hero. It's going to attack me first, plus six. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I still take one damage, though. Yeah, it's better than taking three. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Uh, I've got seven hit points left here. Uh, now the other Wraith is going to attack you. Oh, sweet. So ten does not hit you, so you take one damage. Are you... I'm, I'm still up. I'm okay. still up. That counts, got <laughs> one hit point. I'm going to have you check all your hit points, if that's okay, so I don't have to um, deal with that on my end at all. And then... Um, the uh, trap is just, we take two damage. And now I go down. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! All right. And I have five hit points left after that fire trap. We need to get off this doggone tile. Okay, that was a horrible, horrible turn of events. Now it's uh, your turn. Okay, get off, so um, get off the tile. I need to get rid of this wraith so that way it doesn't activate. Um, so what I'm going to do is definitely get off the tile, but um, I'm going to I'm going to before I do that, I'm going to do healing strike. Um, well, healing strike won't kill the wraith is the problem, but it'll give me a better chance to hit, and I can heal you if I uh, if I hit. So, well, you were down, so you used a healing surge, right? Yeah, but do you. Um, yeah, so I have to use a healing surge to get back up. I have four health now because that's my healing surge value. Right. So I'm back up, and um, I am going to uh, try to kill this wraith so we don't have two wraiths anymore. Um, I'm going to move around the wraith into the tile that he's on, going to the western corridor be uh, beyond the wraith. So I'm just, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then I'm going to strike at the wraith with my lance of faith trying to banish it back to uh, wherever it came from. Yeah. All right, let's do this. What's your bonus? Plus seven. Okay, that's 19. That's definitely that, a hit. That's two damage, and Sweet. the rate has been destroyed. <laughs> we get a treasure. Sweet. All right, your oh, treasure this. is burst of fortune, burst of speed. Play this fortune immediately. Your hero can move his or her speed. Discard after playing. Um, no, I'm fine where I'm at. Okay, so you just do a little jig. You got some hot feet on. <laughs> yeah, moving around. Much. <laughs> uh, all right, we you uh, explore. Oh boy, 
Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> oh dude. It's like every single black arrow is right there. All right, so the monster that comes apart is a zombie. Oh, a zombie, okay. That's not bad. I'll take yeah, a zombie. Yeah, zombies aren't too bad. So let me find the zombie tile. Where? Oh, where? What the heck? Here we are. Here we go. Disgusting little zombies. And then the encounter. So, your encounter is an event, secret door. I can't read that far away. A section of the stone wall slides away, revealing a hidden chamber. Draw a tile from the bottom of the dungeon tile stack and place it adjacent to the unexplored edge that is closest to the active hero. Place a new monster on that tile, but do not draw an encounter card. Okay, please be a black arrow in this case. Yeah! So the closest on, on edge here... Yeah, that's fine. And draw a new monster card. Oh man, you've got a lot going on here. Oh wait, you killed your wraith. Yeah, my so wraith is gone. So this is part of the experience pile now. And you drew a wolf. Prowling around underneath Soth's keep. All these guys are probably just protecting um, that... Uh, oh, what was that... Um, can't remember what it was called that Raceland Hourglass, the, the magical hourglass, to trap the uh, gods of magic. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Dragon's Hourglass Mage. Okay, so uh, we did the encounter. Now it's the creatures. We'll do zombie first. If the zombie's within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent and attacks. So let's see, it's a plus five. <laughs> awesome. It misses. Oh, it does have a side note here. For each monster on the zombie's tile, it's one damage. Gotcha. Yeah, so it hits harder uh, the more mo more zombies or creatures get with it, yeah. That's a wild power. It makes no sense, but <laughs> I guess it's just mob rules, right? Yeah. Uh, now it's the wolf. If the wolf is adjacent to the hero, it's not. If the wolf is within two tiles of the hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks that hero with a pounce. All right. It tries to pounce on you with a plus seven. And that's a 19. And that's, that's a hit. hit. So one damage and slowed. Slowed. Can you take the one damage? Do I need to? No, I can take it. Okay. I mean, I got uh, three health left. Uh, as long as we don't have anything super bad happen, I think <laughs> I can kill. <laughs> I can kill some stuff. Hopefully, making it a little easier for us. But I think right. we should slow down the exploration right now. I think you're absolutely right. <laughs> and I need to kill this. Did I hit that wraith once yet? It took yes, one, you damage? Did hit one damage. On I the thought wraith. so. Okay. So I'm going to do that same thing again. Um, oh wait, can you, yeah, because there's no wall, so I can attack. Yes, you can, you can attack adjacent, uh, any square around you, basically. All right, as long as there's see. no wall. So I'm going to do the Tide of Iron again, plus eight, which definitely hits, that kills the Wraith. In death, Wraiths do something that I forgot to look at last time. Death Strike, when the monster is destroyed, each hero on the tile takes one damage. Oh, I need to take another damage then. Yeah. So I'll Actually, take... I, was I on the same tile? I wasn't even on the same tile. You're not on the same tile either. You're on a different tile. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Hey, what do you know? I dig it. All right, let's take a treasure on that beast and add that to our experience pile. The treasure is items, thieves' tools. Play this item immediately. You gain a plus four bonus to rolls to disable traps while this item is in play. That would be awesome if I was going to stay on this tile, which I am not. Um, I've got to get over to you, so... The thieves' tools have a, a gold value? No. No. Don't. I, I don't even know what that means. Can you explain that? Well, in some of the for, uh, later editions, um, you can sometimes trade your items for a gold value. So, oh. like, if you needed to level up, you could actually spend, like, 500 gold worth of treasure and you could level up. Um, it's, like, a different... It's for later versions of this game, though. It's, right. like, the... Uh, what is it? The Tomb of Annihilation and Temple of Elemental Evil. Oh, very cool. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'm going to move up to you. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got a five speed. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. I want to get in the face of this wolf. And we'll deal with that gargoyle when he comes up to us. I just didn't want to be in the fire trap. Did we not, did we not activate the gargoyle last time? Um, you were in control of the gargoyle. Yeah, no, we did not. No, so he would just have tried to attack you. During that so turn, if be it's like within on one this. tile, it is. It moves to the hero's tile. Yeah, so it'd be on your tile. Yeah. 
And then plus eight to hit me. Yes, definitely hits me. Two damage and slowed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just realized we didn't do that. It's okay. Okay, so I have three hit points left, and I'm slowed. So then I would have to do one, two. No, don't get off, get off the fire trap. It'll oh, take right. two damage. So I'll do a one, two. Yeah. Uh, and then my slowed kind of goes away at the end of my next turn. Um, the fire trap doesn't affect bad guys. My bad guy is only the fire trap. I didn't explore, so I have to do an encounter card. Event. Attack. Icy corridor. A thin layer of ice makes it difficult to stand in one place. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. Sweet. After the attack, place each hero on the active hero's tile on a tile within one tile of the active hero's tile. Oh, jeez. Heroes can be placed on different tiles. Alright, so it has a plus eight to hit me. Oh, oh dear. This is destroying us. Well, it, it, it lets us choose which tile you get slid to, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you don't have to slide onto the fire trap. Yeah. I was just hoping to be closer is all. Oh boy, oh boy, I got a bad feeling about this. I have three hit points left, I'm slowed until the end of my next turn, and it is your turn. All right. This is brutal. So, but the thing is, now we have six experience points, so we can cancel out a uh, an encounter card. Yeah. Um, and then one thing I can do is I'm going to, uh, let's see, I want to get closer to you as well. Um, and if I don't attack, you can heal. If you don't attack, you can, uh, at the end of your heal phase, you can uh, attack. One of your heroes on your uh, tile regains hit points. So let's see, one, two, three, four. I can't quite get to you um, to do that. I was just trying to see if maybe I did a consec consecrated ground or something. Right. Um, but I can do a healing strike. So what I'm going to do is take me down to the gargoyle. Um, uh, yeah, all down to one tile closer to you. Uh, get a little bit close to the right of him or the east of the gargoyle. Here? Uh, yeah, and one more down. That would be the further right there, yeah. Just so I'm a little closer to you. And what I want to do is I'm going to do a healing strike on the gargoyle. I get a plus eight on this hit. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yes! <laughs> Dang, one more and you could have leveled up. Oh, man, it was... Uh... Is uh so now he takes one damage. Uh, I I do a healing. Uh, do a, so how many hit points do you have? I have three. Go ahead and you take one more. Um, I think you're a little more valuable to keep up. So go ahead and you heal. Okay, thank you. I have not been valuable as of late. <laughs> I'll just put that out there. Hey, just remember, it's the odds. The it's odds true. are going to be in our favor. <laughs> you know, the, we did poorly in the beginning. Now we're going to clean up. Yeah, I like your perspective here. All right. Um, or we're just going to die horribly and <laughs> become the dead minions of We songs. had such a good ending to the conversation. Uh, okay, so you moved, you attacked, uh, encounter is what we're going to do. <laughs> what is with these traps? Trap, dart trap. A soft click of a pressure plate beneath your feet precedes a volley of darts that explode from the wall. Place the dart trap marker on the active hero's tile. If the tile already has a marker, discard the card and draw a new encounter card. Trigger the trap during your villain phase. Attack each hero on this tile. Wow. Okay. This just keeps getting better and better. Where is the dart? Come on, trap. There we go. Alright, plus eight to hit. Well, let's do monsters and then that one. Yeah, that one, that one should be the last one, yeah. Okay. So it would be the, so I think the Gargoyle first. Gargoyle is plus eight. It attacks everyone on its tile. Oh, wait, it's not on He yet. moves to my tile. He'll move to my tile, so, yeah. All right, so, um, plus eight. Oh, the, yeah, that hits. That's two damage and slowed. Okay, two damage and slowed. I have one hit point left. Oh, my gosh. Can I do anything for your hit points? I had nothing. Man, we got to get on the same tile, too, so you can get the armor class bonus. Um, though that wouldn't have helped in this particular case. So, you're slowed. Now it's a zombie. If it's within one tile, which it's not, otherwise the zombie moves one tile towards the closest hero. Uh, the wolf, if it's adjacent to the hero, it's not. If it's within two tiles, one, two, it is. It moves towards it the... Oh, it pounce me. Pounce. 
Okay, here we go. That's a plus seven. Oh man, that hits. That's one damage. So you're I'm down. Down again. Oh wait, I can. You're within one tile of me. If the when a monster hits another hero within one tile, the attack misses instead, and you swap positions with the hero that was attacked. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. We'll... And the attack misses, and that is my utility power that is now gone. But that's a good one. So you're still up. Oh man. <laughs> I'm in the dart trap. <laughs> okay. So the dart trap is a plus eight to hit. Um, 13, that's a hit. And that's a two damage. Five, six, seven, eight. I have two hit points left. Use my little healing tokens to, my hit point tokens to track this stuff. And then it is my turn. We have to do an encounter card. Well, that was the dart trap, right? Oh, yeah, the Dark Trap. Never mind, you're right. You know what? We could have canceled that Dark Trap with uh, 75 <laughs> experience true. points. Yeah, it's very true. I didn't think about it either. This Gargoyle's almost dead. I gotta kill this Gargoyle. And then I can deal with the other stuff because it's slower. That'll give us um, three more experience too, so... Or maybe... Should I just kill the Wolf? Because that's one experience. No, I'll just do the Gargoyle. Screw it. All right, so I'm going to do the uh, Tide of Iron. If you hit, place the monster... If it's not destroyed, it doesn't matter. Choose a monster within one tile, place that monster adjacent to your hero and attack it. All right, I'll do Tide of Iron, plus eight to hit. 16 plus eight hits his armor class of 16. <laughs> he already had one damage, so he dies. That goes into our experience pool. Perfect. And he is thrown back to the abyss to tell the Queen of Darkness that Lord Soth might be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, the fire trap goes off, does nothing. Um... I have to do an encounter card. Oh, wait, I gotta move. I'm gonna move to your tile. Yeah, you can move. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, now it's encounter card. This is so brutal. How's it going, Skull Cowboy? Thanks for joining live, man. Um, I didn't say hi to Clint. How you doing, man? All right, so event illusionary trick. Even allies aren't always what they appear to be. The active hero swaps positions with the monster that's farthest from him or her. Well, that undid my move. Okay. Zombie. Hey, how you doing, dude? He liked <laughs> he liked hey, your yeah. musk. <laughs> he was like <laughs> I think he just wants some dwarf spirits. Yeah, he was like, I smell. Did you ever see the cartoon uh, Last Unicorn? Um I've heard of it. I there's, don't think I've ever seen there's it. There's this scene of a skeleton on the top of this like huge fireplace, and he asks Smedric, this wizard, uh to make some wine for him he's a skeleton he can't drink it and he this magic makes horrible wine anyway but he's just like glugging it down like i remember that's what this zombie's doing he's remembering door spirits from his life <laughs> all right that's the end of this event <laughs> brutal all right uh i believe that's your turn okay so uh how can i get over to you what's well i can do one of two things um uh... I can kill something, um, but I don't want to be on the traps. So right. let's see. That zombie only has one hit point. Am I slowed still? Uh, I'm still slowed. That's the end of your next turn. No, you're not. That was, I think that was a little bit ago. Okay, but good. I'm not, I just want to make sure I'm not slowed. Um, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to strike at the, uh, at the zombie, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit Healing Strike, just because I'll, I, I get a better chance at that one. Right, okay. Uh, six plus what? Uh, it is uh, plus six. So you hit, and that's one damage. It's oh, dead. Sorry, plus eight. I apologize. Yeah, either okay. case. Yeah, so... And I'm going to heal myself, so I have yeah. two hit points now. <laughs> and then... Um, Look at you so bragging! <laughs> <laughs> well, I just uh, want to make sure I, um, you know... Don't die on you. Yeah, and then no, I got you. The question I have is, is it better for me to cross the traps and get to you? Um, or is it better for me to stay separate so that if an encounter card comes up that's bad, it doesn't hit both of us? Well, we can get rid of the encounter card if we need to. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, just for armor class bonus, I'd prefer to be on the same tile if it's possible. Do you have that movement? Yeah, I think I do. I can get right next to you on your four, tile, I believe. Three, four, five... Okay, because at least there's that, right? Yep. And because you control the wolf, you can have the wolf attack me instead of you. 
True. Um, it's the but it says the closest hero. Oh. So how many? Are, there, are we exactly the same amount of squares away from it? So, yeah, one, two. I mean, it's yeah, adjacent so, to both, so. Yeah, let's have it attack you because you have a better armor. Actually, I have the same armor class as you right now because I'm on your space, right? Right. I'm on your pile. So. Yes. Um, so before we do that, you you attacked and moved the encounter phase. Uh, we need to draw an encounter card. Correct. Holy <laughs> trap! Crushing walls. The walls slide towards each other, trapping you between them. <laughs> 3PO! 3PO, where are you? <laughs> Place the crushing walls marker on the active hero's tile, if that tile already has a marker, which it doesn't. The only one that doesn't, apparently. Uh, okay, so trigger the trap during your villain phase. Oh my goodness gracious me. I should have played my consecrated ground instead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we are just really popular with these traps. Okay, so let's do your villain phase uh, with the wolf attacking first. It's within one tile, so it has to pounce. Yeah, it can only get next to us, so yeah. So it pounces on me with a plus seven to attack. 17 barely hits! Gah! Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, this drops me. So I take one damage. I'm dropped. Dang, that was so close. And then um, the dart trap triggers with nothing. The crushing walls. Oy vey. Okay, plus six to attack. Now I'm down, so I don't know if my defender is going to help. Yeah, I don't think so. But I think in the spirit of just being on the same tile for once, it should. Nine, ten, twelve, thirty, one, fifteen is a miss. Which is miss. awesome. Misses one damage. Can you take that? Yes, I can take it. Okay. We're still up. Good. Because we just almost lost everyone. Ah! This is <laughs> such a difficult session for some reason. It's Dareguard Keep. I'm telling you. This is what it is. Lord Soth does not play games. Um, Alright, now it's my turn. I have to use our final healing surge token, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But that does mean that I have five hit points. Which is nice. It's better than zero. I'm going to crush this. So, um, really quick, this using a surge, is that a move action, or is that just you have to do it? You just have to do it. So if you're in one's down and you have healing surges left, uh, you basically flip it over, and it's or get rid of it, whatever, right. and it's no longer usable. Um, sometimes the way I play with friends, if like an adventure is really bad or mm -hmm. really tough, what we'll do is we'll to lower the difficulty. Like if we lost already one time, we'll add an extra healing surge to make the game a little easier. And if it's too easy, and we play again sometime, we'll just remove a healing surge to make it harder. So. Right. Uh, right. But yeah, it's just that you have to use it if someone's down. And if someone's down and you have no more healing surges, the game is over. So. Yep. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Skull Cowboy says, salt dispels zombies in actual lore. It's a good thing I brought my salt shaker. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to mess those guys up. All right. So I use the healing surge to get back up. I'm going to take care of this. Doggone. We got to get off this tile too. So. Oh, man. I'm going to attack, hopefully kill that wolf, and then get off his tile. That's my plan. Okay, so it's going to be a, a Tide of Iron plus 8. Oh, my gosh. 8, 19, 11, 12, 13. That misses by 1. Oh, no. <laughs> if we only had your sword. <laughs> ah! Okay, well, I don't want to leave because then you're going to... Uh, it won't activate on my turn though, so it won't. I, I still get a move before, so it's fine to leave because right. you don't want to be on the trap when it triggers next turn. So I'll do this edge because that is a good edge. I just have a feeling we haven't gotten one white arrow yet. This think, is still the same. This is, this is the first hour. <laughs> this is not it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> the worst possible situation in every situation. And you gotta love those gargoyles that keep popping up. Oh, I hate the gargoyles. This is the uh, girlfriend of the one we just killed. She's out oh. for vengeance. <laughs> okay, and it's a black arrow. That means encounter. Event. Ghost of Prince Aurel. A ghost materializes in the corridor ahead. Its horrified features freeze you in terror. Flip over one unused daily power or utility. Holy cow. Okay. Um, I'm using my Dragon Breath, because that's, I think, the worst daily power. It's only a plus four to attack. Okay, thanks, Prince. Aurel. I'm not going to your birthday. He's lost a friend. <laughs> Rude. 
Uh, all right, so now the gargoyle activates. If it's within one tile, it moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks. Rawr. Oh, jeez, that's hits. 20. Two damage. Oh, man, I'm right back to hurting. Oh, I was dang. out of the pain cave for just a moment. I'm right back in the pain cave. Dude, these things are just killing. Okay, you're up. All right, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kill that wolf with a uh, healing strike. Yeah, you are. It's plus eight. Yes. Sweet. All right, you killed it. Stupid then wolf. I'm going to heal you for one damage. Oh, thank you. I will take it. Oh, and I believe uh, you're no longer slowed. Right? Right. The end of my last turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, and then uh, treasure card, I guess, right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. All right, so you get the item Scroll of Teleportation. Use this item during your hero phase. Choose any number of heroes in your tile and place them on a <laughs> discard after using it. It is an item, so it counts towards our 12. Yeah. Which is important. So you have two items right now. Yeah. And I have one because one was taken from me. Now the question is, um, are we going to play that if we use the item, it's no longer part of our uh, uh, amount, or can we use the item and still have it go towards our total? I think the brutal nature of this is we just count all treasures. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we had okay. our best. So we can't I've got the discard now. pile of the treasures, so we can count those. I, we're not at 12 yet, though. Um, we right. need to find that amulet, and we need to get out of Derigard Keep. This okay. is too much. All right, uh, so the darts... You, you can move, though, right? I can, and that's what I was thinking. If I actually moved onto your tile and I used the scroll of teleportation, I could put us on a different tile on the other side away from the gargoyle, oh, giving yeah. us a second to breathe. And we do have enough experience, I think, if anything horrible comes through, we could just prevent it from happening on an encounter card. That's right, which we have forgotten every single encounter card we've drawn. <laughs> Which we could have gotten rid of. Okay, let's do that. So use your scroll of teleportation, and that's any number of heroes on your tile, and place them on any other tile. And let's go the farthest away from the gargoyle to this give one? us some... Yeah, that would be perfect. Do, 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 now the question do. is, do you want me to explore or not? I mean, we're going to get an encounter no matter what. Yeah. Um... Just do we want to have a monster? Because right. you won't be able to kill anything unless we I, I explore. So if I explore, it gives you something to kill. And it'll give us a chance to get an item. So let's let's explore. Okay. We'll, just, we'll be just right next to each other here. All right, exploration. Fa oh, did I hide all of the white ones? It's okay. <laughs> it just means that it's, it's going to be daytime for a long time. That's true. We don't have to, because it gets, uh, so for those of you who don't know, as soon as we run out of our daytime tracker marker right here, um, we have to draw two encounter for every encounter we draw, no matter what, which is not good. Okay, this is a kobold skirmisher, so this is a pretty good option if we had to have a bad guy. I will always choose a kobold skirmisher. Do you say kobold or cobble? I just say cobbled, but it doesn't cobbled. really matter. Okay. My son was saying cobbled, and I was correcting him, and now I don't think I was correct <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay, so uh, we activate the traps. Nothing happens because no one's on them. We activate the monsters, um, the kobold. If it's within one tile of a hero, it attacks the closest hero. Well, that's going to happen after the encounter card, though. Oh, I forgot that's about the, the encounter card. Yeah. Yeah. So this is an event. Cyrus Bellevue, a gaunt, ghoulish-looking man in a torn suit, grins at you through yellowed teeth. The master said we were expecting company. Allow me to escort you to your chambers. Draw a tile from the bottom of the dungeon tile stack and place it adjacent to any unexplored edge. Place two new monsters on that tile, then place the active hero on that tile. Each other oh, hero no. can place himself or herself on the active hero's new tile. Well, burn I'm definitely doing that. Burn that card. Burn that card. That, that is experience. brutal. We don't have to do it. Just burn the experience. Oh, burn right, the experience. right, 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 right. Yes. Yeah. That's a very that good choice. That will kill me. <laughs> so three, four, five experiences gone. Let's go to the monster discard. Um, all right. That was actually uh, Karadok, I think, <laughs> who was trying to invite us. But you know what? I'm not into darn it. You, darn you, Karadok. I thought Soth got rid of you. <laughs> yeah. He just keeps coming back. I don't, I don't get this guy. Uh, okay. So he moves forward. Um, how many hit points do you have? One. I have two, so it should probably attack me. Uh, plus nine to hit. 
Oh, yeah. I got a roll to two, so it misses. Nothing happens because it's just a cobbled. And uh, that's it. That's my turn. Yep. I'm going to kill this stupid cobbled. Okay, plus eight. There's a 19. It has 13. It hits. It kills. It has a one hit point. Awesome. And we get a treasure. Fortune, clear the air. Play this fortune immediately. Discard an environment card in play. We don't have an environment card in play. We just have traps. Wasn't that the carrot, that one that we just pulled? Wasn't that? No, that wasn't an environment. That was an event. Never mind. Right. That is strange. We haven't had one environment card. Well, I'm grateful. Okay, good. Good stuff. <laughs> done and done. Um, all right, I just want to get a quick update on the amount of treasure cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six we've gone through. We need six more, and we can get out of dodge. Okay, my movement is going to go to, to explore. Actually, should we... Should I lure this guy to us? Well, he's actually going to activate on my turn, so he actually should have moved. Well, he's on mine, closer. right? Because oh, I, yeah, I yeah, pulled him turn, when yeah. I went here. So he's going to come to us soon. Um, but he is a kind of a world away, so I think I kind of want to explore. What do you think? Um, I think you should explore, yeah, and let the... Because uh, um, that way we can get more monsters to kill and let the gargoyle... Actually, the gargoyle, I don't think, moves... If it's far enough away from us, I believe the gargoyle will stay in that tile if there's no adjacent uh, heroes to it in an adjacent tile. Um, I think awesome. that's what the card says. Let me see. It does what say, is... otherwise, the gargoyle does nothing. So, yeah. yeah. So we, we can ignore out. him. It's like, where'd everyone go? I, I, I wore deodorant. I don't understand. <laughs> All right. I explore this edge, and it is our first white. Oh, oh no. the daylight moves. <laughs> And monster. But that does mean we don't have to deal with an encounter, which is nice. Blazing Skeleton. Oy, that, oh, no. That's, that's a tough one. Okay, let's deal with this. Where is the Blazing Skeleton? There we go. Big old blue spiky flames. Okay, so exploration phase. Monster came out. It's the monster phase, fire trap goes off, the gargoyle does nothing, blazing skeleton, if it's within one tile, it attacks. It is, excuse me, and it does, plus seven. Fourteen is a miss, uh, misses one damage, five, six, I can take it. And if you can just move one tile closer, you can get the arm class bonus and still do all your range stuff if you like. Yeah, um... Let's see. Uh, can we slide the, the game board just a little bit towards you? Yeah. Yeah, it just uh, gets it better in frame. There we go, yeah. Um, I uh, Yeah, I can move one tile closer. The only problem is if we do uh, move one tile closer, if it's something that hits, if we didn't pull an encounter right. card and it hits both of us, it'll do double damage. So right. I'm like, should I go on one, two, three, four, five? If I get in that south um, west corner, just south of the... Uh, um, of that tile of the skeleton, or the other, the one the skeleton's on, I can still shoot at him with my um, uh, lance of faith and get a bonus from my um, ring of accuracy. All right. So um, that way, if I do that, I'm not going to get the bonus for um, for uh, uh, for your armor class, but right. I might be able to kill him and get us some extra experience That's and even maybe better. another treasure. Yeah. So um, plus seven because of the ring of accuracy and because he's not adjacent to me. So. Oh boy, uh, what's his armor class? 13, that's a hit. Okay, that is two damage because he's an undead. Oh, that's awesome. You just took him out, one shot. That's Back the way to you the do. Abyss with you. <laughs> that's how you do. And I'm just shouting, yeah, I helped. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> All right, this uh, treasure is a fortune. Level up, heck yeah. Play this fortune oh. immediately. You can spend five experience points to have your hero become second level. And we do have five in the form of six, but it's worth it. So you are now second level. Oh, and I forgot. When I level up, do I immediately go to hit max hit points? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. When you level up, check. increase your hit points by two, your armor class by one, and your surge value by one, and choose... Oh, we get another surge. That's awesome. Oh, no, your surge value. Yeah. Uh, and choose an additional daily. Uh, I don't okay, see anything saying max Just hits. two hit points. Yeah. So, okay. All right, so I got my two hit points. Um, so I'm back to three right now instead of having one. Um, but you get a new daily. And I get a new daily, so my new daily will probably be... Oh, 
I'm probably going to do a Beacon of Hope, because okay. that one does healing. Okay, Beacon of Hope. Nice, gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, so you moved, you attacked, you whipped some tukus, and we have an unexplored edge that you are on. So. How much health do you have currently? I have three hit points. I'm going to go ahead and just, the good uh, use a healing surge. Should I use the healing surge on you or the healing word on you? Because we, we don't have any more healing surges. I have three hit points. Um, and you have the ability to swap places with me still, don't you? Um, no, I think or I use that. that yeah. Okay. I don't. Uh, I'm okay for now. I don't know. I don't know. I do need to be healed at some point. Yeah. Eventually. Um, so, um, should I... Should I just hold on to it then? Yeah, just hold on to it. Okay, sounds good. We'll use it at the last possible second. <laughs> sounds good. And I think that was number seven for for treasures. Okay, so unexplored edge. Here we are. And we're getting in those whites. Oh, what was our treasure? What was it again? It was a... Uh... It was the level up. Level up. That's right. Yep. Thanks. Okay, so that was the longest hour... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, the shortest hour that we've experienced yet, just you killing a monster, and then time just flew. Um, activating the traps, they do their thing, you don't have any monsters under your control, that blazing skeleton died, and he's part of our experience pool now. Um, and now it's my turn, so, I don't know, where do you want me to explore? Which edge should I go for? Well, I think the best thing is always, if we can, try to not be on the same tile in case we pull a bad encounter card, but right. how much experience do we have currently? Three. Yeah, I think we need to make sure we separate ourselves because okay. if we, uh, if we, if you land on my tile and uh, we pull a bad one, and we take enough damage, a monster could finish us off. Yeah. Well, I'd like to try to stay as close to the start tile as possible because we do have to make it out when we get our treasure. Why don't we make that uh, southern tile, the one that's uh, below me? Yeah. Because we can start tracking our way back towards the start. Yeah, I dig that. All right, let's do it. So one, two, three. I'm just going to hang out right there to make sure nothing can get behind me and get you. And then explore that edge. And it's another white one. That's not good. And it also blocks off the edge to <laughs> go back to the start. Well, I mean, at least we don't have to worry about pulling an encounter card. So. That's true. But we're dangerously close to getting two <laughs> no matter what. Uh, when we pull one. Uh, monster, 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 sorry. Okay. Just one. Zombie. Alright, I can deal with that. Maybe, where'd you go? You've got to be kidding me. What happened to the zombie? That's the one thing that's annoying about these games. You don't have... <laughs> the monsters always get mixed up. Yeah, for sure. I, I can't find the doggone zombie. Oh, here he is. Alright, stupid zombie. Hiding. Um, trap ignites. Gargoyle stays there. Zombie attacks. If it's within one tile, it moves and attacks. It's plus five. Fifteen is a miss. I take one... What does it say? For each... Mo okay, so I... Not Nothing happens. Which is awesome. Best outcome ever. Okay, now it's your turn. All right. Um, so, is that uh, tile, Is that uh, does it have a south-facing edge? I can't see it. It's yes, on frame. it does. I'm going to go to the south edge of it. So I'm on the same tile as the zombie, but not on your tile. Um, and I'll go to the edge of that uh, the, down there on the bottom. Ooh, okay. One thing I love about these interlocking tiles, at least it makes it easy to move the board. Yeah, uh, actually, can... put me on the zombie's tile, so I'm, I'm not on yours. Yeah, right gotcha. there. And then I will hit the zombie oh, with, yeah. a, oh, with a uh, um, the Lance of Flame. Uh, get plus seven to the attack. Nice. So it okay. dies. It's only 11 that hits and kills it. 
That's another experience and oh. another treasure. Yes, yes. Item, holy water. Use this item during your hero phase. Instead of attacking, choose an undead monster within one tile of you. It takes one damage. All right, not bad. Not bad. We'll keep it. And uh, the tile. It's another white one. Oh, boy. This is bad because that's a straight on quarter. We need to start like making our way back around or something. Yeah, we can go back. Okay, so monster for that tile. Is this spider? Disgusting, spider. creepy spider. Okay, so your traps go off. It's the spider's turn. If the spider is adjacent to a hero, it attacks. It's not. If the spider's within one tile of a hero, it attacks the closest hero with an acidic web. It has a plus 11. It... It cannot attack through that wall, right? No, it has to, yeah, just put move it adjacent to me is what it's going to do. Um, yeah, the spider within one tile of a hero, it attacks. Oh, no, it doesn't move. It just shoots the web, does it? Well, that's what, what it, it says? says, but it can't hit you with that angle. Uh, well, I mean, it can hit me. No, if, it doesn't matter if it can see me. It's not like line of sight on right. like a normal D&D &D game. It's just kind of like, oh, it's aiming for my tile. Gotcha. So. Plus 11. 16. Is that 17. Oh, yeah. Yep, but when I leveled up, my AC went up one. So, uh, so that was lucky. There's no effect if it, no, it doesn't hit. So that's awesome. And uh, that's the end of its turn. It's back to my hero phase. Should we deal with that? Or should I just move around to here? Well, I would say let's kill the spider. So okay. we don't have to worry about it trying to shoot us and slow one, us down. Two, and then we can start heading back. Three, four, five. I can just have it come to me. I can do trapping strike. Choose one monster within a tile of you. Place the monster adjacent to you. So I'll move here for my move. I'll do trapping strike and drag it to me. And then plus eight to attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> what else could have happened? Uh and I'm not next to a an edge, so I can't explore, so I pull an encounter card. Event, Leaf Lipsish. A gnarled old man dressed as a clerk steps from the shadows. I watch the master's treasure. At least, I do unless I'm distracted. You try to distract, Leaf. Roll a die. 1 to 10, you scare Leaf, and he calls for help. Place a new monster on the active hero's tile. 11 to 20, draw a treasure card. Okay. Okay. Okay, do it. 11 to 20. 11 to 20. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, come on! Oh, man. <laughs> Leaf! You bastard! All right. Of course, that's just... I'm the worst at rolling dice. Place a new monster. I'm not happy about this. Wolf. That's not terrible. Okay. Stupid Leaf. Um... So that was the, now it triggers the wolf because it's still part of the hero phase or the villain phase. It's adjacent. It bites. Um, unfortunately, it is on the monster little token is adjacent to you. So you get a plus one armor class being on the same tile. It's a plus nine. Oh, nine, 10, 12, 13 is a total 18. miss. Yeah. And nothing happens, which is awesome. And uh, now we're going to, kill us some monsters so you're up all right so to um move me one square up and to the right to the so i'm not on your tile i'm on the tile next to us and i'm adjacent to the spider mm -hmm. and i'm going to hit the spider with a healing uh strike so i can heal you so hopefully a plus eight will do enough to uh kill that spider oh you can do it you can do it that is enough so okay, it's 15 so that's one hit point dead that's two experience and one treasure so now we have five again, right? We have five experience or more? Uh, yes. We have four, Perfect. five, six total. Okay, so now you're healed by one. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Okay, so this treasure item. Are you ready for that? Yeah, sure. Fortune days. Play this fortune immediately. Put this card face up on a monster card. The next time the monster would activate, discard this card instead. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do we want to use that for the wolf? I mean, well, the wolf's the only thing that's going to activate. So yeah. if you don't kill it, at least it won't do anything. So right. that, that it's like a little insurance that I don't think we'll need. Yeah. 
I think you're right. But it's a treasure. We'll take it. Um, you can't explore. So we have to pull an encounter. So an encounter. Event. Overrun. Monsters charge from all directions. Each hero takes damage equal to the number of monster he or she controls. Oh. I control none. I take two. They're not even near me. Yeah, it's like, what the heck? All right. I guess the wolf got really angry. Yeah, it did. All right. I'm a dragon. Stay away. Jeez. Um, I, I taste like dragon. No one likes to taste a dragon. It's like stale chicken or something. Okay. Uh, does that mean it's my turn? Um, yeah, that's my encounter card, and I have no monsters to activate, so yeah. Um, if I move a tile away, I can pull him to me mm -hmm. within one tile. So. And then we could also, if you wanted to get the corner down there, we could explore that tile edge. And the cool thing about that is, uh, how many tre treasures do we have? Oh, uh, let's get checked. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, I think we need to explore a few more because we need 12, right? Yes. So, yeah, let's just explore that edge. and That way you can kill that wolf and we'll gotcha. still have one monster to deal with. So I pull him close to me with a plus eight to hit. It's a 16. He has a 14. He's dead. Which the doorknob is... of a wolf. <laughs> which is great. And, oh, wait, that, that was an extra treasure that we didn't see. Okay, so this next treasure is... Fortune, Glimpse of the Future. Play this fortune immediately. Look at the top three cards of the encounter deck and put them back on top of the deck in any order. I like oh, that's that a good. lot. One, two, three. Okay, so the three are Trap, Spear Gauntlet, <laughs> Environment, Deadly Shadows. When the active hero ends his or her turn on the tile that has another hero on it, the active hero takes one damage. And then event ambush. Each hero on the active hero's tile is attacked. It, it, but it only slows you. It doesn't actually do damage. I think, um, if you think about it, uh, the way you want to, when you when you play these, I do still have consecrated ground. So as long as, uh, if you if you know where you're going to put those cards, and I know ahead of time, if that trap's going to come up, I can kill that trap. Or we can just hope to use experience. But um, we only have five experience right now, so we can only block one of those cards. Right. Um, I can block two if I use my Consecrated Ground. Well, I don't like the Hero Takes a Damage one. The Trap, I think we should use Consecrated, your thing on that, just to get it done. The, but the Ambush is just slowed. Yeah. That, so that's the best. I think maybe the Trap is three damage, though. So I'll do Deadly Shadows as the second, and then Spear Gauntlet Trap as the third. Yeah. Okay. So the next one will be the ambush, which doesn't do any damage. And I draw a tile. Okay. And it's a white one. Oh, no. Oh, it's almost dark outside. Um. <laughs> uh. That's not good. We need to get hey, these Ar treasures and get out. Arjun, do you have a torch with you? It's getting a little dark in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take uh, some of the, the femur from this uh, wolf and breathe on it. <laughs> and ignite it. All right, this is a skeleton I just drew. All right, that's pretty awesome. That's our first skeleton. I dig it. Okay, so um, no encounter. The skeleton's out. My turn is over. Skeleton, if it's adjacent to a hero, it attacks. It's not. If it's within one tile of the hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks that hero with a charging slice. That's a plus nine. Oh yeah, and that's Definitely a miss. Misses. <laughs> it got a roll to one, so that's that's awesome. So he totally misses me, and now it is your turn. Um. All right. So I think the best thing to do is, uh, hmm, I can move up and uh, attack the uh, um, skeleton. Um, put me on the other tile, so that way, if something happens, we're not on the same tile. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I know the encounter cards. We know what's going to happen with them. Um, now, the question I have, I might, for me to use my, um, uh, what is it called? The uh, Consecrate Ground, I can't attack. So in place of attacking, oh. I can't. So I could actually stay on our tile. I will play the Consecrated Ground on that tile. Okay. 
And then once I do that, since I didn't do anything this turn, I will heal you because my ability says that if I don't attack, I heal you if I'm on the, no, on the same tile. So oh. keep me up next to you on my on the tile that we're on. And then, yeah, let's consecrate ground there. And I'll heal you for one damage because oh, I'm not doing you. anything. So That's great. Okay. And we're really close to getting those multiple encounter cards. So. And, yeah, I'll save this holy water. You can finish off the skeleton. So. Okay. So now we have to do an encounter card, right? Correct. Event. Ambush. A massive net falls from the ceiling while monsters close in from all sides. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. The damage is just slowed, so it's a plus eight. So we'll do my guy first. Uh, 16 is a miss. And attack you. Uh, 19. You have a plus one with me. What do you have? Oh, that's I have, 18. Uh, I have 19. I have 19 total right now. Oh, okay. Well, that, but it hits. that still hits, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. So it's slowed. But that's okay. We can live with that. Discard that card. Okay, so that was your entire cycle. So now it's back to me. I'm going to attack and kill this skeleton so we can move on about our lives. It's a plus eight. 16 hits, one damage, kills it. We have a lot of experience. We need to start rolling 20s. And get rid of that guy and get a treasure. Fortune, breath of life. Play this fortune immediately. Your hero gains one hit point. Awesome. I needed it. That's awesome. Okay. we got to be close to that amulet. <laughs> We've got so many of these treasures already. And now I can move. Now here's the... Do we want to stay on this tile and draw monsters to us because of the consecrated ground? And use it as our like, safe spot? We can, I, but as soon as you draw that counter for the, um, for the trap... Um, that's going to cause this tile to go away, and the trap will be nullified. So, um, if we want to just, if you want to stay here, or do you want to go explore? Because the only problem is, if you go explore, is the next card that we can pull for the encounter that's going to be the trap, right? Right. So, if you stay here and just the trap goes off, nothing happens. It's just the encounter card's nullified. So, I like that's that. kind of up to you. Do you want to explore, or do you want? Because you could take damage from the trap if you. Right, but if if you stayed here and did the encounter card, and I tried to draw a monster back to us. Um, cause, no, because if I draw the encounter card here, it's still going to affect us. So I'll just stay here. Yeah, yeah, and we'll just burn it. I'll move to right here. And just, just hang out for a minute. Okay. I'll do a two count. Okay, the encounter card. Event Deadly Shadows. Did I not put those back in the right fucking order? Oh, I forgot. Maybe because I think you put that one last. Right, I'm that was sorry. the third because that was the most dangerous. Okay. Uh, environment Deadly Shadows. Voices from the shadows whisper horrifying secrets about your con companions. If they're... <laughs> they tell me dirty secrets about you. <laughs> That's not a good thing. If there's an encounter card already in play, discard it. We do not have one. Um, this environment remains in play until a new environment card is drawn. Whenever the active... Let's spend five experience points to get rid of that one. Yeah, that's an extra damage every... Yeah, for sure. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Two, four, five. I almost did six. That's not good. Okay, so right now we're sitting on four experience. Um, that's disabled. My turn is over. Gargle does nothing. Fire traps do nothing. Event card. Was already played. It's your turn. What you want to do. Hey, Kent. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Oh, did I lose you, Derek? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry, oh, okay. I hit the mute button accidentally on my headset. Okay. So, yeah, um, I would, uh, I'm would. i going to stay here, do nothing. Uh, then you're going to get uh, healed for one, Ooh, well, and I'll yeah. pull the encounter card. Okay. Trap. Spear gauntlet. It's destroyed. That's awesome. So the consecrate just stays there? No, the Consecrate's gone now. It basically was gotcha. there for one use, and it prevents that trap from going off. I like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's actually really nice. Okay, so we did the encounter. You stayed there. Now it's back to me? Yep, back to you. I kind of want to get over here to explore, but one, two, three, four, five. I can't. So we'll explore this edge. One, two, three, four. I'll move, explore it. Sweet. It's still the same hour which I actually really like. The monster that comes up is a rat swarm. Oh, I hate rats. 
Disgusting. Yeah, they attack everyone on the tile, don't they? Filthy rats and an encounter. So let's see. If the rat swarm is within one tile of the hero, it moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks each hero on that tile. Yeah, that's brutal. The encounter card is event. Attack. Soth attacks. Soth steps from the shadows, sending a ball of fire streaking from his outstretched hands. As it explodes, he disappears back into the shadows. That is a punk move, Soth. Attack yeah. each hero on the tile with one active hero. Isn't that what a Death Knight would do for its power word kill? It's like shoot you with a fireball or something like that totally. back in the old days? And then he just backs into the shadows, just like, ha ha. He does a little Nelson laugh. That's cowardice. <laughs> cowardice. <laughs> that is not befitting of a former Knight of Salamia. Um, so that's a 19, and that hits me. Like, three damage. Oh my gosh. That was brutal. Wow. I do not like Soth anymore. He used to be one of my favorites, but now, nope. He's up there with Caradoc with me. Okay. <laughs> little punk. Um, now the Rat Swarm attacks, so it moves well, over. Rat Swarm's going to move. Yeah, it's going to move on onto the tile, yeah. And then uh, plus seven. Oh. It's one more damage. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have one hit point left, thanks to that fireball. And <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, so how much experience do we got? We got none, right? So brutal. No, we have four. We have four. We have four? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move up to adjacent to the rat, um, just to the southeast of you. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the uh, healing strike um, and uh, plus eight damage, or plus eight to a roll. Okay, well, that hits it. It only had 12, and that's one damage it only hit could take. So you heal dead. by one. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I have two hit points. Woohoo! You know what? Sometimes that's all you need. <laughs> For real. Definitely two. Boo poo knows. And we have five. <laughs> and we have five experience. So we could just uh, discard an encounter if we need to. Um, treasure. You get a treasure. Okay, the treasure you get is Fortune Distant Sounds. Play this fortune immediately. Look at the top three cards of the monster deck. Put them back in the top order in any. Put them at the top of the deck in any order. Okay, so the top three monsters, one, two, three, is a wolf, a spider, and a gargoyle. What what order do you want? Um, well, I think the gargoyle is the worst thing for us right now, so yeah. I would like to see that the furthest away. Okay. Um, the wolf is not so bad. No. It's not bad at all. And the spider... Um, if the spider pops, it's going to hit both of Does it hit both of us or one of us? If it's a tile away, it's both. If it's on the same, if it's adjacent, it's one. Let's do the wolf, then the spider. Gotcha. Then and the then gargoyle. put the gargoyle as far away from us as possible. So wolf, spider, gargoyle. In that order. Got it. Okay. Uh, that was pretty good. Encounter card? Yeah, encounter card now. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here comes the pain. Event. Soth's hunger. Vertigo washes over you as Soth steps from the shadows. He's just playing Sesame Street behind a tree at this point. <laughs> this is some messed up stuff, Soth. All right. Um, he steps from the shadows. His will overwhelms you. He laughs, and he steps back into the darkness. What? Choose the hero with the most hit points remaining. That hero takes one damage and is immobilized. Okay, that's me. I got three. <laughs> so I'm down to two. Uh, he just laughed. That was all he did. What a jerk. <laughs> yeah. God, well, I... he is freaky. Yeah, so, <laughs> At least he didn't touch us, right? Yeah. No, for real. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> no touchy. Uh, okay, so that's the end of your turn. Is that correct? Yep, it's so not yours. One, two, three, four, five. I guess explore this edge. I got nothing else. So, all right. Hero's phase is over. Do I have anything I can do? Choose a tile within one. No, no, and no. All right, so I'm kind of stuck. Oh, boy. And it's sunset. This is going to be painful. This is bad. Let me address that really quick here. The aura of the keep has changed, and you believe you hear the evening call of banshees delivering their nightly dirge to the lord of the keep. It won't be long before the rest of his minions are aware of our presence. Oh. So what this means is that from here on out, whenever we draw an encounter card, uh, I'm sorry, we have to draw an encounter card at the start of our villain phase, no matter what. And that means if it is a black arrow, we draw two. Um, 
We have to yeah. we have to get out of here. Like we just don't have any more time. Okay, so how many treasure cards do we have? Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What? We got twelve? I could we go the other way. <laughs> Didn't I put that <laughs> I thought I loaded this on the twelfth one with that item that we needed. Oh, didn't you accidentally discard one that, uh, that's what it was. You discarded one that we didn't, uh, pull on accident. Right. That's, that's why. Okay. But we have 12. So let's get out. <laughs> this is our only chance, but that doesn't even make sense. Cause, oh gosh, that's two away. Okay. We have 12. We okay. Need, we need to get out. So I, I need to do a monster for this. Yep. Monster. Um, wolf. If the wolf is... A, oh, hold on a second. Because now it was sunset at the end of the encounter phase. At the you beginning of the villain encounter. phase, I have to do an encounter now as well. So the, but you draw the monster first. Yeah. The monster. And then does the monster trigger first? No, the monster triggers after. It's okay. the last thing. The event is teleport glyph. An arcane symbol flashes at your feet and you disappear from sight. Place the active hero and each monster on his or her tile. On the tile furthest... From the active hero. Um, oh, okay. no. That's a lot of traps to run through. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Place the active monster and hero on the... Okay, so that... It's got to be this, right? Yep. That's what it looks like. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's the furthest away. Oh, boy. But that trap... Was that monster wasn't on your tile, though? It was on. Oh, the, that's right. It hadn't moved, activated yet, so it's still way over Play there. Play the active hero and each monster on his or her tile. Okay, so that's just me. Yep. Um. Where'd you go? What just what? happened? It's Where like... am I? <laughs> All right. Reorks' beard. Now I'm here alone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you even see the the wolf? You're just like, wait a second. What what just happened? Where'd he go? All right, so the wolf, if it's just a new hero, it's not. If it's within two tiles of a hero, one, two, it is. It, it pounces me. moves and it pounces. Plus seven to attack. Oh, 24. It's that one hits. damage. Do you have a hit point? I have one hit point. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so I'm on my last hit point. And you're slowed. Oh, no. So I have to get within one tile in order to pull that to me. Choose a tile within one tile of you. Place each monster on that tile adjacent to your hero and then attack each adjacent monster, which is nice. I just need to get over to you, and I can't in one turn. Yeah, and you don't want to walk through those traps either. I would say I if you're going to walk through the move. traps. Yeah, you can double move, but if you double move, how far can you get? 12? 1, 2, 3, it? 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. So the, the good thing about that is... Um, at least you're closer to the entrance, because really right. that's where you need to be. Yeah. If we close the entrance... Um, well, wait a second. If You're just going to run, right? Because we have right, the 12th yeah. treasure. Yep. So you, what's your speed? One, two, uh, five. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I can just go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And I'll just hang out here in case... I'll hang out like right there in case he can get us. Which he can't, though, because okay. it's, it's... Oh, it is two tiles away. But you would be three tiles away. So he can't get us on this turn. One, and he two. activates at the end of your hero phase, so you'll be... Oh, it will move to you, but it won't be able to attack on that turn. And then there'll be an encounter. So I'm going to hang out. I'll move to here, and I'll just hang out on my turn. I'll pull an encounter card and hope for the best. you got to pull two, though. That's the bad thing. Oh, yeah. Doggone dare guard. Keep it night. Event. Attack, choking fog. Acrid yellow smoke fills the crypt, causing you to choke and cough. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. <gasps> Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this could kill me. Oh, this could end our adventure. We're so close to winning. 15 plus six hits. Oh, shit. That just dropped me. We just lost. We didn't lose yet. Um... Do you have a, a way to heal me on the next turn? Um, yes, I do, but it's going to require um, me not to go down. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> oh, the boy. wolf is uh, yours, right? Yeah. So the wolf's going to activate. No, the wolf is... Um, yeah, it's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it activates now. Oh, shh, Nike. I forgot about that. 
Okay, so the second environment, or the second, uh, in, yeah, encounter card is environment, cackling skull. A crystal skull floats out of the darkness. Its maddening laughter makes it difficult to focus. If there's an encounter card already in play, discard it. Uh, there's not. Uh, the This environment remains in play until a new environment card is drawn. Whenever the hero uses a daily power or utility power, the hero takes one damage. Ugh, that's not good. Do you have one damage? What do you have? I am at one exactly. Okay, so we need... Well, he's going to bite you, so he has to miss you. Yeah, he has or to miss. Lose. I have an 18... I have a, sorry, I have a 17 AC because you're not on the same tile with me. So. Oh, man. Okay, roll low. This is when I need you to roll low, dice. He attacks. Oh, that's 18. That hits. Wah, wah, wah. I'm down. <laughs> we lost. That was so close. Uh, it was a good game, though. That was totally a good game. Oh, my gosh. Well, we gave it our best, but what do you expect? Two people against Soth, that's a near impossibility. Unless you happen to be Tannis and Lorana. <laughs> then you got a shot, but we don't. All yeah. right. Well, Clint, you've got it right. Rest in peace. <laughs> These two <laughs> Dragonlance heroes, their time has come. That was a lot of fun, Derek. Thanks for doing this. Oh, hey, I enjoyed it. If any of you out there watching or uh, live or after the fact want to join us on the next time, you're more than welcome. Shoot me an email or reply in a comment to this video. Uh, my in email is info at dragonlance-saga.com or just lose, you leave a comment with your email or something so I can reach out to you in some way. I think keeping it in Skype is going to be best because doing the live chat, there's timing issues that can prop up and, and sort of mess with the flow of this. So, you know, we'd be more than happy to do this. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Every other week or, you know, in, in a couple of weeks, we'll try this again. That would be great. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I dig it. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of Gaming Dragonlance. What do you think of this board game? Did you have fun watching this Dragonlance skin of Castle Ravenloft? And, uh, you know, of course, leave a comment on your thoughts. Uh, I'd like to once again invite you to consider becoming a patron or member of this channel. And you can pick up Dragonlance Gaming Materials using my affiliate link. This channel is all about celebrating the wonderful world of the Dragonlance Saga. And I hope you'll join me in the celebration. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, Salon Jabbar.